Hello everyone, welcome back to Babli. In this video, we're going to learn how to build a WhatsApp chatbot to collect RSVPs for an event planner. So I am an owner of an event planning business and I've recently organized an event for which I forwarded invitations towards all the participants who are invited in that event. Now over here, honestly waiting for the reply for the confirmation whether the person is coming in the event or not is very time consuming and hectic. So to solve this problem, I have created a WhatsApp chatbot using Pabli chart flow. So now as I've created this bot right over here whenever I'm going to receive a reply towards the invitation whether the person is coming to the event or not by the user as a message on whatsapp automatically this bot is going to send the reply to them according to the choice that they have taken so now if you want to learn how to create this amazing chat bot for yourself for your business step by step then let me take you to my screen in this video we are going to learn how to build a whatsapp chat bot that helps event planners in this video, we're going to learn how to build a WhatsApp chatbot that helps event planners collect confirmation automatically using Pabdi chart flow. So first of all, I'm going to show you how this bot that I've created actually works in real time. For that, I've already forwarded the invite message to all the participants on their WhatsApp using the broadcast message feature of Pabli chart flow okay so this is the message that i forwarded that says hey we are excited to invite you to the event by event is pro this is the event venue date time and the dress code as soon as i'm going to receive this template message all the customers i'm going to receive are going to receive the same template message on their whatsapp who are invited to the event so now let's suppose i want to join the event so i'm going to select this option that is yes i would love to join and as soon as i'm going to do that within few seconds you can see this bot has replied that's great to hear let's get your details so let's suppose for the name over here i'm going to write it as test user okay so this is the name i want to send after sending the name over here it says thanks test user it is asking for the email address so let's suppose for the email address over here i'm going to write it as test at the rate pabritudes.com okay after sending the email address to this bot it says how many people are coming so let's suppose nine people are coming so i'm going to send the reply as nine right here automatically it says perfect here what we have got name is test user email and total number of attendees we'll send you the event info shortly looking for to seeing you there okay you can see this bot is automatically replying to all my messages this is how this bot is going to work in real time and in this video we're going to learn the step-by-step -step tutorial of how you can build this bot for yourself for your business using pabli chart flow for that on a new page i'm going to browse the website of pabli chart flow that is www.pabli.com slash chart flow so i'm going to browse the website then pabli chart flows landing page is going to appear in front of you on the landing page you have to opt Options, sign in or sign up for free if you're an existing user you can directly sign into your Pabli chart flow account but if you're a new user you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month I'm an existing user so I'm going to directly sign in to my Pabli chart flow account after signing in you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see all the applications that Pabli provides from which we are going to select Pabli chart flow by clicking on this access now button right over here then Pabli chart flows dashboard is going to appear in front of you so what is Pabli chart flow it is an amazing tool for businesses to send whatsapp messages and manage conversations effortlessly on whatsapp over here to set up your Pabli chart flow account you have to click on this add whatsapp number button and you have two ways that is whatsapp connect and manual token connect you can set up your account for both of the methods and if you want to learn how you can set up the account for any of the methods you can check out both of the links of the videos added in the description box below Pabli chart flow provides multiple features like inbox contacts team queues templates broadcast flows a assistant settings under which we have multiple options if you want to learn about each and every feature of Pabli chart flow step by step and in brief you can check out the video that we have already created and uploaded on our channel and i have already attached all the tutorials in the description box below as well so now in order to create a bot in our Pabli chart flow account from the left side go towards the flow and flows section right over here after that you're going to land towards the flow builder page of your Pabli chart flow account in order to create a new flow click on this add flow button right over here and first of all after creating the flow what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename the flow which is going to be 
whatsapp chatbot to collect rsvps for an event planner this is the name of the bot i want to give now over here we have to first set up the flow start how this bot that we are creating is going to be triggered there are three ways keywords regex and choose template so for this bot that we are creating we are going to use choose template on the left side if i'm going to go towards this templates list section right over here of my pabli chart flow account i am going to land towards the templates page of my pabli chart flow account over here if i'm going to scroll down these are all the templates that i've created and in these templates i have created this template in the name of event invite so this is the invite message that i'm forwarding towards all the participants who are invited in the event that i'm organizing okay and using this template that i've created i'm going to send a broadcast message so i've already created this broadcast in my pabli chart flow account in the name of event confirmation message this broadcast is scheduled for tomorrow at a particular time that is 10:30 in the morning so this broadcast is going to send this message this template message towards the list of the people who are invited in this event they all are going to receive this message you can see right over here in this manner on their whatsapp okay and towards this message if a customer is going to reply choosing these buttons this bot is going to reply to them and we are going to build this bot right here for the choose template i am going to select this template that i've created in the name of this event invite okay so as i've selected the template in this template i've added these two buttons yes i would love to join not this time so if the customer select this button or this button what are the messages that this bot is going to send to them okay so my first button is yes i would love to join so if a participant selects this button over here what bot should do is firstly it should ask for the name of that participant okay firstly we're going to collect the data of the participant like their name email and the number of attendees who are invited in this event okay so now for adding the question over here what i'm going to do is over here i'm going to go to actions this says ask question i'm going to drag it and drop it in this field i'm going to connect this yes i would love to join towards this question field right here you can see an arrow these two buttons and this question is connected now over here my first question is related to the name so for the question i'm going to write it as so this is the question that i have that is that's great to hear let's get your details it is going to collect the details first could you please tell us your full name so as i'm collecting my participants full name right over here where the record of this full name should be created we can create the record of this data of this full name in this amazing feature by public connect that is contact custom field if you want to learn more in brief about what is contact custom field and how you can create it you can check out the video that we have already created and uploaded on our youtube channel over here i have created a contact custom field in the name of full name and in this field the record of my participants full name is going to be created okay so i have selected the contact custom field of full name so if the customer is going to tell me their name after this question automatically the record of it is going to be created format of the reply is text right here number of attempts i am going to give only one attempt and for the validation message i am going to write it as error what is validation message so let's suppose towards this message a customer doesn't reply according to the selected format from here automatically they're going to receive the validation message of error okay after asking the question one that is for the full name i'm going to ask another question that is related to the email address so i'm going to write the message over here as so this is the message for the email address thanks dollar full name okay first of all what i want is i want to make this text that is thanks dollar full name bold in order to do that what i'm going to do is in front of the sentence and in the end of the sentence i'm going to add this symbol that is the star symbol now the text between these two star is going to be automatically formatted as bold okay so you can also format your text like this so now it says thanks dollar full name so what is the dollar full name over here next to thanks i want to add the data of the participant name which they are going to tell me after this message as i'm going to keep the record of the name in this contact custom field this full name i can extract it from here and add it in this message by exactly writing the name of the contact custom field that is full name and in front of it i have added the dollar sign so it will be thanks the name of the participant right here it is asking for the email address contact custom field is going to be email and the format is going to be email right here as well over here for the validation message 
I'm going to write it as error. Okay, so I'm going to connect both of these questions. Now I have a last question that is I want to know how many people are attending the event. So I'm going to first connect both of these questions and I'm going to write the message over here as so this is the message. Awesome. Just last thing. How many people including you will be attending? Contact custom field is going to be total attendees. Format is going to be text right over here. And for the validation message, again, I'm going to write it as error. Okay. So now these are the three questions that this bot is going to ask as they have selected. Yes, I would love to join. Okay. Now after collecting these three details, what I want is I want to send all these details that are collected towards my participant. With that, I want to send them a message that we shortly will connect you. I'm going to drag the question point and drop it in this field. Content type, I'm going to select as text plus button and for the message over here I'm going to write it as so this is the message that I've written perfect here's what we got the name email and the attendees you can see we will send you the event info shortly and if you have any question feel free to contact us for contact us I want to send them contact details for that I'm going to add a button over here in the name of contact us right over here and as soon as a participant select this button that is contact us they will receive my contact details content type is going to be text plus button and for the message for this contact us I'm going to write it as so this is the message for the contact us in which I've added my number and my email address okay so these are the series of messages that is going to be forwarded towards the participant if they select this button yes I would love to join okay first it is going to ask questions and then it is going to send the reply towards the participants question that what we have collected and with that it will send my contact details towards the event participants okay so these are the series of questions that is going to be forwarded with this button that is yes I would love to join so now now what message should be forwarded towards the customer if they select this button not this time for that simply I'm going to drag this point drop it in this field content type is going to be text plus button and for the message for this not this time I'm going to write it as so this is the message that is going to be forwarded no problem at all if you change your mind just message us again have a great day from event is pro okay so this message is going to be forwarded if they select the button not this time okay so now this is the entire board that I've created using Pabli chart flow in order to save this bot click on the save button on the top right corner okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this bot again for you as I've created this bot now for that I've already forwarded this template as a broadcast message towards all the invitees who I'm inviting to this event so I've already forwarded this message on my whatsapp you can see right over here this is the message that I've received of the invitation now as soon as I'm going to let suppose select this button right over here automatically this bot is going to send me a reply right here okay and as you can see as I've received this reply right over here this means this bot that I've created using Pabli chart flow is now successfully working okay if you want to check out the conversation between your bot and your participants you can check it out in the inbox section right over here in your Pabli chart flow account you can manage your conversations with inbox okay and that's how easy you can create a smart whatsapp chatbot to collect event confirmations using Pabli chart flow you can also test out this bot yourself Pabli gives you 100 free credit points to start building your own chatbot today no need to wait go ahead and build this amazing event bot for yourself for your business as well and try Pabli chart flow so this was it for this video thank you so much for watching not just this chatbot you can create multiple other chatbots using Pabli chart flow if you have any questions you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue in Pabli chart flow you can check out this link if you want to try your own test bot today with Pabli chart flow you can do it absolutely for free as we provide 100 free credit points so go and check out Pabli chart flow today.